welcome back everybody this is Muhammad Said with you again in this video we will learn how to code on, code on Pygame so what's Pygame? Pygame is one of the libraries on Python like it's easy to be able to it's a bit hard to be able to import it but we are gonna try so we're not gonna use Atom um, what's Atom? Atom is one of the um, Atom is one of the apps that can use Pygame. Here, this is the app, it's called Atom, but we're not gonna use it, we're gonna stick with Python because we started with it. So the first thing to be able to import the Pygame is go to your command prompt. Command prompt is available on all Windows, Windows 7, um, on Windows 7, 8.1 and 10, of course. So type in command, open command prompt. Okay, so first of all, type in pip. It's the package on Python that installs stuff. Pip install. Um, but first of all, um, you need to make sure that your Python is downloaded on your computer. So, you can also try typing in python space slash slash um, virgin. It may not work, but yeah, here it's working. Python space um, dash dash virgin. Then on the next line, um, it's gonna type in your virgin. So, type in pip install. Pi game. Now, after this, um, after this code on this language, you're gonna be able to do it. Like, look. Now, I already have it installed, so it's gonna give me a warning. So, let's close that and let's open our first um, code. Let's type our first code. So we're gonna use easy codes because we're still beginners on Pygame. So here you go. Here's everything on Pygame. It's too easy. Um, like it's easy to learn this. So first of all, we're gonna create a skeleton. What's a skeleton? It's like it's the base of the. Um, it's the base of this Pygame code that we're um, creating or our project so it's not going to be typing in codes to move stuff and do stuff no it's going to be only the skeleton importing them so first of all type in um, this this um, I can't remember its name but type in after it pygame template space dash space and um, space skeleton for new pygame project then import pygame um, as you know we can also import the random you can import random so after importing random um, we're gonna create a variable called width width is equal to 360 and our height is equal to um, 480 then fps what's fps um, fps is how fast you want your game to be um, and if I forgot to tell you, Pygame is for creating games. So, FPS is how much fast you want your game to be. And what define color is, um, we're gonna define for the computer, we're gonna define the colors. So, here, after this, we're gonna type in what are the colors. So, um, Pi game here, it's not easy to do colors. It's not like red dot color or turtle dot color red. No, it's not like this. It depends on something called RGB. What's RGB? Okay. Um, our colors on what's the R? The R is red and the G is green and the B is blue. So how to do this is the R is the first one so here on our red how to create the red is um, I mean the RGB the first one is the highest because the red is the RGB so 255 is the highest 
and the green is the second so it's gonna be in the middle blue is the last and you can also search it on google um what color and what amount plus what and amount and equals to what color so now um initial in, initialize pi game and create window so here we're gonna create a window pi game dot in it then type in pi game dot mixture in it this creates um the music of your game then type in after it screen equal pi game um, dot display set mode width and height that okay so what that means is the screen is the display of your pie game it's the display and it is with um 360 height 480 how that happened because we typed in here width and height and they are our variable over here so now pie game dot display dot set caption my game here it's called pi game template when we run it we're gonna see my game and here um we are we need everybody to play fair everybody to have the same um computer like the same fps the same um like speed on his computer so type in clock equal pi game dot time clock now type in game loop and uh, it's a command so put the sign running equal two so um it's like it runs from now it runs after it's while running while it's like while running like python while two while it's moving keep you running at the right speed which is 40 f 30 fps clock dot tick fps now type in a command also process input events event is what happens on your screen type in after for event in pi game dot event dot get check for closing window so what that is when you press on this x and it closes your window because sometimes it doesn't work so we need to make this like it closes the game when you press there so type in if event type pi, um equal equal pi game quit um after it type in running false so the running here was running true it runs now running false it does not run now command update command another command that slash at backslash then space again Joe backslash uh, space backslash space render then after type in screen dot fill blue so the fill of our screen is gonna be blue and um, after it type in after drawing everything flip the display what that says is on Pi game when you don't want when you don't flip it it doesn't display so when you draw something you need to display it like how like we're pretending that we have a screen like your computer screen is a screen um, and it has two sides the back sides Joe's and then how do we look and um, it flips the screen so we look at it and see so now after it type in pi game dot display flip after it's pi game dot quit after everything and it's done now run it this is the first thing that you created on pi game if you finish this video so here here is the title my game as i told you and there's nothing in it because we didn't create any events yet and also when you import the pi game and then run it says hello from the pi game community so that was the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel 
bye